I've been trying to get Ever to take a nap because she's a cranky beast without a nap. And she just <laughs> schooled me on why she shouldn't take a nap. And she said she wanted to explain this for other kids. So let's see what she has to say. How many shirts do you have on right now? Oh my gosh, I'll show you. I think you have five shirts on. Oh, what is that all about? I had to do it so I could get comfortable. So it won't get cold. And two pants. More, more pair of pants. Ever. Yeah. Her revolver made me very tall. I'm not even tall enough. I guess. Here, I have some more to explain. Spires are not great. Not snakes. They... Creep me out. Pay on, guys. Said, here and Kaisen. Coyote Pearson. Yeah, Coyote Pearson. He had this weird furniture in his yard. I don't know. Beth made poopy in his eye. <laughs> My beautiful hair keeps growing. My gosh, is so great. I had, I got homesick, had very ha homesick, and I had to go to Dr. Frail. I had to get a shot, and it made me cry the last time. Then the other one, one of my other baby giggled when she got her shot, and they both cried, and I laughed. I, I, I cried too, on my next shot. So, and here's my cat. Mister, he's like really cute. Mm-hmm, he is really cute. Ever, why do you have a hat on like it's winter time? Hmm? Yeah. It's hot out. Anyway, we're going to get my new glasses. They are I so cute. I cannot wait to show you guys. You know how obsessed I am with Gwen Stefani and anything that she has to, her name on or anything that is has to do with her brand. Well, I got some of her new glasses. Come here. I know. Well, isn't it too hot to wear a hat? Nope. All right. Pretty warm. You're not too hot. Your hat has food on it, honey. Hi, Mom. Hmm. Why do they have toys? Um, just in case you want to play. Well, I do want to play. Here's my new glasses. Ever, what do you think of my new glasses? Uh, I want to do them. I don't. I know. Hop up in your seat. Tell them. Hop up in your seat. I'm pretty happy with these new glasses. I love them. I should have got the glare resistant um, coating. They asked me if I wanted that on these glasses and I was like, no, I don't think I need it because it's not like they're, I have to wear them all the time. It's just like, uh, mainly for if I watch a movie or TV from far away or night driving, but now I kind of wish I would have got that because it might help with the glare that you can see when I have the camera on, but oh well. So here's the cute case the glasses came in. And then they're actually olive green. Um, kind of hard to tell. They look black because they're super dark. I like the hardware detail on the front of them. And then there's like little gold pieces right here and then the back of them is kind of like tortoise shell and green mixed and then here's the lamb on this side so thanks to Gwen Stefani for making super cool glasses now I just need a pair of the sunglasses to complete the look um, all right I tried to curl my hair today I don't know you can kind of tell like not super curly but just like kind of messy curly 
And I have to give it to my girl Whippy Cake because she did a hair tutorial recently on curling short hair. And before that, I was so frustrated every time I tried to curl it because it's totally different than curling long hair. And every time I tried to do it, it just like, my hair looked poofy and weird and like not cute. But Whippy Cake did a tutorial on curling short hair and it came at the perfect time. Like no joke, I must have vibed it to her because she posted the video I think a day after. I was like, I need her to do a tutorial on this. And she did. So I'll link that below in case there's any other people out there with short hair that are like, how do I curl my hair and make it look cute? Let's tell everyone what happened. We are the unluckiest people. With effing milk, man. You know why this is an, uh, what's the word, an omen to no longer drink cow's milk. No kidding. Okay, guys. Sky gets home. Here, let's show them out here. Well, I've already cleaned it all up, so. Oh, you cleaned up the mess? Yeah. So Sky gets home with some groceries, so I go out there to help, and I open the door to the car, <laughs> and the milk jug rolls out of the car and explodes on the ground and milk sprays all over the seats that I just got done cleaning from the crazy milk incident the other day. I mean, it was like, it's like bad luck. And um, when I went to get groceries, I couldn't get the tailgate of the Sequoia open. It was like Stop jammed shut, shut. Nasty, like, but then it kept on like dinging at me as I was driving home saying that there was a door ajar and I got out, I even like stopped the car, got out, tried to fix it, could not get it to budge. And anyways, Will fixed that when he got home. I was getting so mad because I'm like, this is because of Will's milk incident. And well, yeah, it was. It was like sticky and kind of like, just stuck. It wasn't a big deal. I was like imagining that it was shorting out and everything electronic was like messed up. One thing you will learn about Sky is she's a doomsdayer. If anything is wrong, it's worst case scenario. I got a stomach ache. It must be blah, 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 disease. I'm going to die tomorrow. That's true. It is true. I still love you and your craziness. Yeah, Thank it is true though. Life. Okay. All right. But, um... So, make sure to still love me for my idiot maneuvers, okay? Here, I got your chocolate milk. Right You've now. made it very hard to love you the last couple days. I'm not saying I haven't. Here. You guys want some more food? Dance! Shake it! I love how when Fable dances, it's just like running, running in, a, in circle. a circle. I can't even look at her too long because I start getting dizzy. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> You're cute, Fable. Yeah, uh, Olive, maybe we shouldn't play with little tiny beads, okay? Thank you. Oh, she's gonna scream. Sorry, guys. Uh -oh. So here's the deal with Olive. She's the sweetest, happiest, most wonderful little child. Like, she's laughing all the time. She's 100% how I imagined her to be when she was in my belly. I. It was weird. Like, I knew her. Olive and Fable's personalities. I knew what they were gonna be like and they are totally what I envision. But Olive, if she gets mad about something or if she's, like if something really sets her off, her cry is on another level. It's like ear piercing. It's the worst cry I've ever heard. Um, it's not just a cry, it's like this scream and she will not let up until You've comforted her in whatever way or what, whatever is wrong, like, she will not give up. She is so stubborn. I guess she kind of gets that from me. Hey. 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 <laughs> that. That is the scream. Tell us what you did today, please. All right, I've been like you yeah, yeah. Can you show me dance moves? Sure, show me. Show us your dance. Moves. Whoa! Oh yeah. Can you show me how to do a corn song? Okay. Oh wait. Your head banging right now. That is impressive. 
It makes your locks look extra luscious. I was really proud of Ever today because most of the time we're begging her to clean up messes that she's made or just to like help out with things and she it doesn't matter if we threaten her or take things away like she doesn't care and doesn't want to listen but oh yeah but um today all i will show them today all on her own here in the office she she said hey i'm gonna clean up and she picked up all the toys even mess that she didn't make picked up the whole room spotless and then she said, I'm cleaning up so we can do our yoga. And she gets out our yoga mat. And be alone. She gets out our yoga mats, or cleans up the whole room, gets out our yoga mats, and then we did our yoga. I was really, really proud of her because that's like a huge step for her. Is it just, you're such a good girl. You're like the best helper. Whoa, are you dizzy now?